Today, I am painting on crayons. Hi everyone, it's Sarah here, back with another painting on random things video because that is what the poll results told me to do. And I really enjoyed the last video where I painted rubber ducks. I wanna do so much more of this. However, testing craft kits did come in second place. So I wanna give you guys a chance to vote on which craft kit I should do next. Leave your comment below on which one of those looks the most interesting. But in this video, like I said, we are going to be painting crayons. I'm actually a bit surprised that it's taken me this long to do a a painting on crayons video. I've done carving with crayons. I've done melting crayons. I've done crayons on shoes. I'll link my entire crayon playlist in the i card above and the description box below. But now without further ado, let's get into painting the little crayons. I'm gonna start with the one that you guys saw in the thumbnail. We'll get this one out of the way and then there will be three more after. So stay tuned for all four. But for this one, I'm just painting a pastel rainbow. Nothing really that creative, but it does turn out really cute. So off camera, I did divide the crayon into six equal sections inside the two black lines on either side and I wanted to leave the Crayola logo visible so I am going to be painting around it. After completing these three colors I did decide that the yellow and pink were way too light I just didn't like the look so I mixed a yellow with the regular yellow and the ivory and made a shade in between then I moved on to green and that was not supposed to rhyme. Finishing off with light blue and purple. Here's what it turned out like, and now we're gonna move on to the second crayon. For this one, I'm going to put an itty bitty tiny teddy bear on top of the logo. I am consulting with a very 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 old photo from my Instagram circa 2012. So this is an old planner doodle if you go back to my ancient videos. I used to do a ton of these doodle tutorials. I chose the teddy bear to fit the brown theme and here's me trying to figure out like how to get the best painting setup. I did put these coasters on either side and then I put a pencil underneath to give the crayon some height so it would be easy to paint but it wouldn't move around and this was perfect. I'm sure there's tons of other ways you could set up your crayon to paint it but this worked perfectly for me. So I want the brown to match the wrapper of the crayon for the most part. That means that for a few seconds you won't really be able to see too much of what I'm doing because it does blend in. But now I am painting on the details of the teddy. So I have his nose, his mouth, the little ears, and his stomach which was supposed to be a belly button but I made it too big so yeah now it just turned into like a tummy spot. I moved on to his eyes and let me tell you this was a challenge. The first one was pretty easy just painting the rainbow uh, splotches or uh, color blocks whatever that was super easy. It took a long time but it wasn't challenging. This on the other hand I had to hold my breath at certain parts. I was like shaking or trying not to shake. It was really difficult. So if you are looking for a challenge, I do recommend you try this. Make sure that you have some really good paint brushes or dotting tools before you move on to something like this though because you want to get the most detailed lines possible. I love these paint brushes that I got from Amazon, not sponsored, but I do have my affiliate links below if you're interested in getting them. I also thought if this wasn't thin enough that I could get a push pin out and use that, but this did end up working pretty well. It's not perfect because I need more practice doing the line work. It was just really difficult to get an even line all around, so it does look a little bit wonky in areas, but for my first time painting a little teddy, I think that it turned out pretty cute. And to pull it all together, I just dipped into the white and put those little highlights in each eye. And there we have it, a teddy bear brown themed crayon. I think that this would be really cute to give to someone as a gift or just kind of to display in your house. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not going to use this even though I could. It's going to 
just be something I hold on to and hoard, like all the other artwork that I have. All right, moving on to the third crayon. This one's going to get really detailed. So I decided to paint over the logo for this one. I kind of experimented with different ways to paint the crayon. In the future, I want to kind of like develop the best style possible that I I like to work with so you can give your input below if you want to if you prefer a certain style like do you like to see the Crayola logo I like Crayola crayons the best again not sponsored but I just think that they work the best and they have the best colors and I just I don't know they're very nostalgic for me for this one I wanted the blue to match the actual wax color and once that dried which acrylic paint does dry really quickly which is actually good for crayon painting because you have a very slim chance of smudging anything that you've done. You can see I did tan at the bottom there and then I'm doing a pink starfish. So if you haven't guessed already, this is an underwater scene and this one is actually probably my favorite crayon. The fourth one was probably the most fun, so you'll see that soon, but this is probably my favorite design overall. It was just a lot of fun to add the different elements and see how tiny I could go. The water looked too stagnant just too boring so I added a bit of gradient with different shades of light blue or would it be tints because it's getting lighter once I had finished the water I went in with some squiggly lines for seaweed and now we're getting to my favorite part which is the little fishy a clownfish to be exact and I did not think going into this that I would be able to what's the word I'm looking for? I guess portray a clownfish so well. I didn't think it would translate over to something this small. Like I didn't think anyone would be able to tell that it was a clownfish, but I did, I think a pretty good job. They actually look like little mini clownfish and I think that they're the cutest. So I did more seaweed and a little bit of coral off camera. And then these little bubbles, which I did add a bit of water to the white paint to make it a little less opaque and more translucent. And there we have an underwater fishy scene with some plants, <laughs> some seaweeds. Now for the fourth crayon, I actually painted two more, but you'll see that I didn't actually decorate the white one yet. That's where you guys come in. These were actually the first two that I painted. My initial idea was to cover the entire crayon wrapper, as you can see, so I did black and white, but I thought that it lost a lot of character this way. So when I do more of these in the future, I would rather have the logo showing or at least the black squiggly lines on the top and bottom. I don't know. I don't know, give me your thoughts if you uh, have any, but this was the most fun to paint, as I mentioned. I just watered down some acrylic and blobbed it on there. So the idea for this one was to make it a galaxy or some sort of like northern light type sky. It did take the paint a couple minutes to dry in between layers, but it was no big deal. I just held it in the air and let it dry before setting it down again. After the blue, I went in with lime green, and then after letting that dry, I went in with some yellow, followed by the stars. Here I did some cross diamond type stars, like the glitter flakes. And I did some bigger dots and some really, really, really tiny dots. For the most part, I only put white in the black areas of the sky and I left it out of the colors, but there are a few that are scattered very slightly into the blue. I think it did turn out really cool, but I am leaning more towards the other styles of just having not the entire crayon painted, I guess. Let me know which design from this video is your absolute favorite. Leave a comment below. And also for the next crayon painting video, if you want a chance to get your idea featured, please tell me what you want to see on the blank white crayon since I didn't actually paint that one or I didn't put the design on. 
If you guys enjoyed this, please check out my previous video where I customized rubber ducks. I have a big guy over there to hopefully paint in a future video. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Bye. Ah, painting on blah, 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 blah. <laughs>